Hi guys, greetings of the day, myself Vijay Tavadhan and in this video lecture session I am going to show you a solution on problems on projection of plane surfaces. And the example problem is like this, a rectangular lamina of 35 mm by 20 mm rests on HP on one of its shorter edges. The lamina is rotated about the edge on which it rests till it appears as a square in the top view. The edge on which the lamina rests is being parallel to both HP and VP. Draw its projections and find the inclination with HP and VP. So this problem can be solved in the following technique. So make use of a line command with a 0.13 mm tag. One has to construct an XY line. And after which uh, using the text command, uh, name this corners of the line as X and Y. And then make use of uh, text command above the xy line it will be marked as vp and below the xy line it will be marked as hp to represent the first angle of projection then go to a rectangle command with a thickness of 0.5 millimeter uh, the width must be taken as 35 millimeter height must be taken as 20 millimeter because it is resting on a shorter edge then the angle as 0 degree one has to construct the rectangle like this then uh, <coughs> make use of uh, the text command uh, name the corners uh, let me name this corner as a and this corner as b this corner as c and this corner will become d and after which these corners has to be projected till the xy line using the command called as uh, line command with the thickness of 0.131 has to project the xy line then make use of a line command with the thickness of 0.5 millimeter join the front view completely and then after which here using the text command name these projectors as b dash as well as a dash the corners and then c dash as well as d dash and then the front view is supposed to be inclined at an angle of okay angle is not given instead of the top view is uh, shown as the square so one can go for a rectangle command and enter 20 by 20 because it's a square of 20 by 20 and angle as 0 and it has to be rotated in such a way that the top view is going to be look like a 20 by 20 rectangle so for which i will show that uh, this is a square of uh, sorry rectangle of 20 by 30 and now this 35 is getting reduced to 20 millimeter now make use of a line command and uh, connect uh, this projectors and then uh, the respective namings will be done like this using the text command uh, this is going to be a this is going to be b and this will be c and this will be d and again using a line command with a thickness of 0.13 now we know that a b will be on the x y line whereas c d will be going above the x y line so that whatever the line a b or a b c d is parallel to x y line is inclined at an angle to make it as a square of 20 millimeter then how to draw that one now one has to measure the length of a dash to b dash sorry a dash to c dash which is measuring as 35 millimeter then go to arc by center point command with 0.13 as thickness we know that this will be a dash b dash and c dash d dash is above hp whose radius is taken as 35 millimeter and we are supposed to draw an arc here so that it is going to decide the inclination angle so go to uh, line command with 0.5 mm thickness join ab dash to cd dash so this is going to be the required inclination to get the square properly and then uh, go to the text command and name the corners and this corner is going to be named as uh, b dash as well as a dash and accordingly this corners will be named as c dash as well as d dash whereas here d dash is inside the bracket now this completes the kind of given condition the top view is a square and that is parallel to both hp vp that is line ab and cd should be parallel to hp vp now it is perpendicular so we have to rotate this lamina the top view completely at an angle of 90 degree and then we should complete the front and top views once again so for which one has to select the top view completely go with move command move these points uh, anywhere below the xy line and go to rotate select a and b and 
the rotation angle must be equal to 90 degree because it is being parallel to both HPVP. Now again make use of a line command start drawing the projectors of ABCD. The moment I am going to draw the projectors of ABCD and this is how it is going to be. AB and uh, CD projectors will be drawn. Now you can see all the required projectors has been completed and after completing these things we have to name the corners. Now this corner is going to be A dash and this corner is going to be B dash and this corner is going to be C dash as well as this corner is going to be D dash. Now this completes the required uh, naming of the corner. Make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.5 millimeter and the intersection of XY line and A dash will be the required point B dash and C dash and D dash back to A dash. This completes the required print and top views. Now they are asking us to measure the inclination with HP and VP. The inclination of HP can be measured here. To get the VP inclination one has to construct the side view. So for which one has to construct an X1 Y1 line that is nothing but we are supposed to construct a right profile plane. So make use of a text command. So mark this as a right profile plane. So this is supposed to be marked as a right profile plane using the text command RPP and the side view what we are going to get it is called as left side view. Now to draw this make use of a line command with the thickness of 0.13 from the intersection of x1 y1 line one has to draw an inclined line whose angle must be 45 degree. The angle between these two lines must be 45 degree. And then using the text command we are supposed to name this line as x1 as well as y1 x1 as well as y1 and after which uh, get the side view projected that is 0.13 project AB till the 45 degree line and join AB is going to be on the xy line AB is going to be the on the xy line itself and CD will be on the 45 degree line and CD will be projected up to here and CD will be connected to here next and this corner will become B double dash A double dash using the text command this will become B double dash as well as A double dash and this point will become C double dash and D double dash then join the side view using the line command with a thickness of 0.5 millimeter join B double dash and C double dash then have a construction line to measure the angle theta and phi. So to measure the angle phi one has to draw this construction line and then make use of angle between command angle between this inclined line to xy line that is called as angle theta and this line to this line whatever the angle we are going to measure that is called as angle phi. Now angle phi is measuring as 35 degree angle theta is measuring as 55 degree. Now one can say that the problem is completed in all aspects as per the given condition. Thanks for watching this video and kindly do share this video to maximum number of first year engineering students and also please do share this video and also please do subscribe to my youtube channel. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching the video once again.